for this class, of course, is the number 44, the man from Mangakino just down the road, the uh, local hero Maximus Purvis, who unfortunately, uh, after Woodville, went to uh, Josh Coppins' training facility in Mochueka and uh, broke his collarbone. And uh, from there, as they say, the rest of history has missed out on all three rounds of the series. And here he comes with a two-second advantage in this 125 field. Uh, arguably, at the time, he was a pre-class favourite for 125s, but uh, won't be a title for him today. But he'll certainly salvage some points along the way. And uh, more importantly, show uh, people and uh, sponsors, uh, friends, family and uh, uh, club kin alike that uh, this man is hot in 125 racing. And still, of course... A uh, schoolboy at that, so uh, fantastic endeavours from Maximus Purvis. We'll be keen to watch him at Rocky today. Check him out on the number 44 in this uh, 125 lineup as well today. 125 class brought to us by uh, Alpine Star in the fantastic limited edition Indianapolis MX race kit, uh, racing gear and gloves, and of course the Tech 10 boots from none other than the, the footwear giant of uh, uh, motorsport apparel in uh, Alpine Star. All right, a 125 and uh, keen to get away. Checking it out and see uh, Husqvarna to go for it. I think it'll be the number four. Keen to look out for it. Checking the uh, number four. We're going to go with four and uh, look out. Yes, indeed. Uh, there we go. So uh, there is the uh, number four and uh, Curtis to go for it. Curtis Lilly. So uh, Curtis on top of his game. Uh, Curtis Lilly, the man from Karaka on the HLR. Husqvarna, Husqvarna, New Zealand. Ebert Pukikoe, Workshop Graphics, Shift Fox, Motor X, Advanced Physiotherapy, Dr. Trim Seats, Motor Muck, Bike Sport NZ.com, Kiwi Rider Magazine, Northern Accessories, R.I. Oakley, along with uh, uh, Pirelli, uh, EBC Brakes, of Barky Chain and M-Spec Racing. A fantastic list of sponsors for uh, Curtis Lilly. And of course, Curtis has got the eight point deficit. Deficit going into the last round. He was tied on points for the lead, but he lost eight at uh, Manawa 2 over his KDM rival, the young teenager from uh, Thai Happy, Hayden Smith. So, some work to do out there as we uh, then look out for our uh, uh, KDMs to go. One, two, three behind him before we go back to another Husqvarna. As we look out over the famous Energy Centre Point Super Jump here at Taubo, lovely line by our race uh, runner up there. Nice line through on the inside of the corner. That was good to watch. I think that's the number five we've got of Hayden. I think he's back in about third place at the moment. So keen to look out. So uh, Hayden back there in third. Some uh, work to do from Hayden. So uh, Hayden uh, carrying on out there. So uh, nice to see. Keen to pick up on who we've got in second because it's uh, an unknown quantity. It's not uh, uh, Maximus. In fact, uh, un uh, uh, Maximus is in fifth place. Just picked him up in fifth place. So he's got some work to do. Keen to look out for the other one uh, down through there as well. And then in, I think we've got... Uh, Maybe, maybe, maybe in there if we've got... Uh, no, it won't be uh, Hayden Wilkinson. He's on a Yamaha as well. So there we go with uh, Curtis. Curtis in the front. And uh, whipping it up in fine style. In fact, it's 913. 913. Over here at the moment, Sam Greenstate. So Sam Greenstate, great run from this uh, rider, of course. Uh, Specialising. And not just by the cross, but in Giro and cross country as well. Four in front. Going to uh, 108 this time. Uh, James Scott. So uh, check it out, James. James White Maximus. Another one of our young kids on the block. Good to see if... Uh, KDM New Zealand, Kiwi Rider, Alpine Star, 100% Bell, Pirelli, Motor X, Dr. Trim, Bike Sport, NZ.com. So uh, James Scott, the man from Oakrail, on the west coast of the North Island, joins us. And he too, of course, using this as his only round of the uh, championship. He's been out with uh, injury. The young man rode the uh, EMX uh, 150 in Europe in junior racing last year. Effectively finished up as the second fastest uh, junior in that uh, EMX class where all of the riders uh, uh, competed on the uh, CRF 150 Hondas. A fantastic new class to develop uh, junior talent on a uh, global stage and have another Kiwians uh, effectively second fastest and that was uh, just amazing. So all the best for uh, James. He sowed the seed for some uh, a bigger uh, racing to come for him. But he's also still got a schooling to uh, consider as well. So a little bit of a balance. So I uh, like the 44 of Maximus Purvis, the 108 to join us up there as well of James Scott. And I'm sure at that uh, a frozen point of time, that's exactly what Curtis would have wanted for the finish because Maximus was back in the fifth position. So he would have certainly had some work to do up there uh, to uh, get past. And that would have been a serious chunk of the eight points uh, gone in that one moto. But of course, there's still a lot more racing to get through there. As we look out, look at the four of them. Four of them fighting for that next place in there. Uh, four of them fighting it out. And Maximus uh, still back in that uh, fifth place. But I tell you what, it is uh, Curtis that's gone for it. And those other very good riders in there fighting for those next uh, race places. So keen to look out for. And who is in that uh, quartet at the moment? Well, of course, Shane Scott, Sam Greenslade, Hayden Smith, and that man as well, 44, Maximus Purvis. Looking out as well for Ryan. So uh, let's uh, don't uh, rule him out of the picture as well. We're talking about uh, uh, Ryan Gwynn. 
Bike number 122 out of Kek Premier and Taranaki on the uh, Gwyn Contracting Action Moto Crown Kiwi. Kiwi Suspension Solution, Tomo's Tyres, uh, Tomo's Tyres, uh, Husqvarna, uh, 125. I'll uh, tell you what, it's the, uh, the Curtis uh, show here at the moment as we're uh, keen to uh, watch him. And here we go with the 44. Curtis out to fly. Here he goes, the 44. And it's uh, Curtis on track at the moment. It's a great train. Comes right over the top here on the Hero Hilbert's uh, jump. Hero, and uh, we're on to a winner here at the moment. The Hero Hilbert's jump, and how good is this, Hero? Man, have we got some Hero out here at the moment. Watch out field, four in the front, and then the four to fight it out. And they're actually uh, having that real uh, barbing in concept. And they've each got to watch out where they are at the moment because they're slowing each other down because they're so close together. And it's just giving Curtis a bigger uh, buffer out in front. Once they seem to uh, be uh, breaking up, they'll be a little bit better. And I think that's uh, Maximus. He's gone up into uh, fourth place. Maybe a third, maybe a third. Getting some speed around the outside. Oh, yes, indeed. The Taupo smash repairs. Step up, jump. And the number 44 of Maximus Purvis, he's got his way up into uh, third place. So from a sixth officially when they went past but he was fifth for most of the lap then he got up to a fifth then he's done a fourth and now here he is in a third place and as well he's got the opportunity to try and get up one more no back look at that he slipped back he slipped back he's gone to fourth again gone to fourth so he could be the real catalyst in here at the moment to uh, show the others but check that out with the number five the five of uh, hayden smith and uh, hayden now moving into second place and it's uh, hayden uh, with eight points up for grabs today, I tell you what, if Curtis wins every race and Hayden is second, Curtis will win by one point, one point. So that's how close we are here in the reckoning as well. Fantastic to watch. And it's that next ba bar banging group that we've got at the moment. But look at this from Curtis, the 21-year-old uh, builder from Auckland in very good form here now. And here he goes down through the sorter section once again, the number four on the impressive uh, Husqvarna TC125. And it's uh, Husqvarna rules, of course, uh, New Zealand Championship three years ago, won by Husqvarna. Husqvarna really making a uh, storm back. The pioneers of motocross coming back in our sport globally. And these fantastic two strokes are rejuvenated. Of course, New Zealand, a very good two stroke nation. After all, we had the last world two stroke uh, champion in uh, Shane King, the last uh, world championship event to be uh, won by a competitor on a two stroke. So we've loved two strokes here in New Zealand. And why not the great machines that they've been? for decades. Four to go past. Curtis five now for Hayden. 44 and Maximus is up there to the third place. 913 and second. Back to our 108 with James Scott is higher. Second at one point in the moto. But he's now slipped back to a fifth. He'll be missing race time so he'll be needing to get up there. And now just to see uh, what uh, Maximus is able to do. But I think Hayden's just pulling clear into the stage. Seven to get to that second place. But Curtis and what a moment from this man needs to be doing to winning today and what a confidence booster needs to give it smooth made the mistake made the mistake at that matter or two which is how he lost the eight points and he'll be conscious of not making those mistakes again today also from a uh, mistake point of view uh, he tried to get past uh, Aidan Smith in the final race I've seen the uh, video replay on Facebook and seen the uh, storming run that he uh, took out people thought that it was actually a, a racing incident but to look at it on a video replay, you gauge it for yourself. And I believe it was his uh, fair attempt of uh, trying to get past with an inside uh, manoeuvre. So there you go. Nothing unfair about uh, any of that kind of uh, racing from uh, Curtis because he was just on fire, as you do on a uh, fast and exciting part of that track at uh, Flips Motocross Park in the matter of two, just uh, two weeks ago for this uh, third and penultimate round of our uh, Mazda-supported uh, dirt rider down under New Zealand Motocross Nationals. This round brought to us by Penny Holmes. Uh, John Penny, a great supporter of motorsport. We've loved JP for many years, had the privilege of knowing him since our early days of racing, an ex-junior and senior. He got uh, second in Nationals at uh, 125s a few moons ago. He also was a New Zealand four-stroke motocross champion in the days of uh, separate four-stroke racing. So he is one of our best. And for him to be supporting our sport again, uh, still loving the support that he gives up to uh, JP. Long to be uh, continued. John Penny, ladies and gentlemen. Penny Holmes, the uh, uh, class of excellence of the uh, home building here in Taupo. All right, here we go. Four to run, four to run. There it is, there it is. Four to run. Here's the 44. The 44 has got it. The 44 has got it. The 44's got it. Maximus, Maximus moving up there. Maximus Purvis. Maximus in the picture now. We've picked it up. It is Maximus Purvis. So four by 44. And then going to uh, five. Now what uh, Curtis has got to watch is that he uh, sees this man behind him because uh, 
He needs to be making up eight points today, and he won't do that by fighting it out for second and third place because that's only a two point buffer. FIM point scoring 25, 22, 20, 18, 16, 15, 14, 13, and one point every place and down to 20th from that point. So at this stage, he would get five points back with a 25 versus a 20. But uh, if he gets overtaken, he'll only be getting uh, uh, two points of that back. And man, he's going to need to do that. Uh, uh, too many times today, four times, and there's only three motos. So on the other end of the spectrum, he will miss out by uh, two points. So needs to be able to do that. And look at that from Purvis. There's Maximus. Maximus trying to look for the outside line. Get the ricochet off the boom. Do the scissor movement. Go up on the inside. Go back on the outside. And here he is now for the run side to side. And he's there over Rapid Jet. Put him in the big air and a spectacular overtaking manoeuvre. And Maximus Purvis going back. Looking to steal the line from Curtis, and he's uh, done so by taking the inside, and there it is, up in the second place. So from his distance of sixth place, he was fifth, then he dropped the sixth, he came back to fifth, then he went four, then he's gone three. He's been a while in two, and now here he is going for the number one, as he looks to take the speed boom on and to tuck it in. Uh, to the outside as Curtis goes to the inside and you know no way do you play follow the leader when you go to a corner like that you've got to take the alternative it's a quick thinking by Curtis Lily has seen him diving back through there and now of course uh, Hayden with the best seat in the house and he'll be actually in his mind cheering of course the race leader on and knowing that instead of getting five points off me you're only going to get two Curtis Lily so uh, a climatic finale in our Alpine Star sponsored uh, 125cc two stroke cup final Oh, well, there's the number four. He's looking a little bit loose at the end of it on the uh, uh, Scott rebound uh, through the sawdust as we come up to the dam jump. Daryl August Motorcycles, D-A-M, dam jump here at uh, Digger McEwen Park, the home of the Taupo Motorcycle Club with the uh, uh, 44 now in front, 44 by 4 by 5 as we go. First year in New Zealand's uh, senior motocross for the likeable super kid from Manga Kino. Proud to be a member of the uh, Taupo MCC. That is uh, Maximus and Purvis, four to go past with the Curtis Lilly and the five. So I think we've seen the top three change uh, uh, every uh, lap in some shape or form. Here we are now with the 913 of the Sam Green Street, followed by the runaway of uh, James Scott from Oparel. Courtesy of KDM New Zealand, Kiwi Rider and Alpine Star. And this top five have bolted, clearly bolted, with the 81 now of the man lying in third place in uh, Hayden Wilkinson from Nelson. And behind him, behind him, the 210, the 210 of the Rotorua is uh, Joshua Burke Palmer of the John Newton Panel and Payfight. 122 now. And at Ryan Grin, back to 70 with uh, Jordan Milsom out of uh, Team Hookie on the team encounter. Out by star, 100% Bell Helmets. Uh, Husqvarna along with the 801, 742. Former local man in there and uh, slipped out there. The other 742 in the field in the form of... Uh, uh, Riley Campbell out of Bulls on the uh, AFC uh, Nevada Academy supported uh, KX125. It's some brilliant racing and some of our other rounds. These guys finding a little bit tougher to cover today. Of course, two reasons is tougher. There are two better riders in front of them. They are Maximus Purvis and uh, James Scott, who have been uh, our top five performers that have not been at the other three rounds of the championship. These guys have been out with injury, but. Uh, but uh, made a uh, great comeback and uh, making a real mark on this race with some uh, top five finishes. That means that the uh, points margin for these other riders is now less because these guys are stealing higher numbers. So instead of a rider scoring those uh, 18-16s at other rounds and getting that two-point buffer, they're only now scoring that 14-13, which has only got a one-point gap in it. So you're not able to make up points or hold your buffer as you might have otherwise been able to do uh, because these uh, top two riders that have only joined us for this final round at Taupo are both in the top five. We're talking about the man leading the race, the 44 of uh, uh, Yamaha's uh, Maximus Burvis and, of course, uh, behind uh, him in the race in fifth place, the way away to uh, James Scott. But uh, Maximus here at the moment, courtesy of CNC Redline Racing, Yamaha Blue Crew, along with Fox. Uh, Mike Sport, uh, Tristram European, Bridgestone, Epic Decals, K-Tech, Bodywork, Kalkapo, Image Timing, Redline Oil, CFX Seats, Quick Shots Media and Western Bay Helicopters. So uh, Maximus Purvis. Hi to Mum and Dad here as well today and uh, always nice to see uh, some great family support out there. So look out for uh, Maximus racing for at the moment. The number five of Hayden Smith, of course, courtesy of uh, CML KDM Racing, same team as our current uh, MX2 uh, points leader and uh, reigning champion Hamish Harwood and his uh, protege and uh, tie hippies uh, uh, Hayden Smith courtesy of Makita Tools in New Zealand broke on construction, Motor X, Troy Lee Design, Pirelli FMF, Unifil, EBC, DID 
bomber Achebis uh, City uh, P1 Motor Workshop Graphics, uh, Savelle Machinery Repairs, Scott Tallon, ODI, JT's Frogget, CFX Seats, Atlas and Asterix. Amazing list of sponsors for the awesome CML KDM race team. Oh, Ryan, Ryan, Ryan. And unsure what had happened there, but he's all of a sudden had to go backwards down off the hill. Oh, bad luck, matey, bad luck. And he's looking to get the bike started. He missed a gear and he stalled. Oh, the bike's going to go, but I tell you what, he's going to have trouble because he's going to be caught in the fence. The knobblies are caught in the fence. That's what happens each time he goes. You see, they kick the wire. So we're going to try and hold the... Uh, literally got it around, got to push the bike away, got to push the bike away. So he's caught in the uh, in the fencing, the safety fencing there. So he's got to watch him. It'd be better if he can get the bike out of it. Keep going with it. Keep going with it, Ryan. Oh, no, he's going to get back on, as like, long as he doesn't drift backwards now. Oh, he has uh, uh, restored the bike. So he can get back. And, oh, how close was that? How d d devastating for him will that be? Oh, bad luck indeed. The 1 2 2, Ryan, good. All around good guy. One of our uh, uh, top 10 points front runners, the uh, Auckland University student. And. Uh, here he is, finding himself, uh, for some reason, uh, with stalled engine, bike. He just couldn't quite make the apex of the Townley Builders' uh, finish line jump. He had to literally go backwards and uh, crash into the uh, safety fencing on the right-hand side of the track. So a uh, fine recovery made after all as he's returned to the track. All right, 44, he's your race leader, Max uh, Mas, Purvis. Great ball, four for Curtis, and there's a five, there's a five, four by five, four by five. Here we are with the points leader, he's there in the fifth place. He'll only score a 20, but more importantly, the man behind him on points, sorry, uh, behind him on points is only going to score a, uh, a two more at 22. So uh, that means that the uh, eight-point lead becomes a six-point lead. How close, how fast and how exciting. I tell you what, they've got closer together as well. Keen to watch the two of them as we go up on the Aon Insurance a Total Lubricants a corner around the power pylon, making the return to come uh, back off there, courtesy of Ray White uh, Real Estate, down to the bottom corner, and it's Curtis with the better line on the inside. And now look for the slingshot when you're in the trailing ride. You've got to use the other line. It goes over the Taupo Smash Repairs, a step up, coming round. Onto the uh, hooker Honda step over, and uh, we're both going to use that at the moment. Round towards uh, Rapids Jet, uh, best jet boat ride in New Zealand. As we head down on another uh, pylon, down towards the uh, culvert underpass here across the uh, State Highway 1 Eastern Arterial Route. And always you might find in the uh, backdrop over there, folks, you'll always find a few cars that pull up and stop on the side of uh, State Highway Number 1. After all, it's an opportunity to uh, watch a little bit of motocross. There's not too many times that a, uh, a nationally ranked uh, motocross circuit goes right along the side of the uh, State Highway of a Nation. And uh, that's exactly what we've got here. Uh, you go to Glen Helen, of course, in America, well, Glen Helen's uh, almost on the side of Route 66, but you've got to move over a little bit from Route 66 and get your binoculars out. You can see it underneath uh, Mount Helen, but uh, you've just got to go a little way. But in this case, it's literally right on the side of the road. State Highway 1, the main uh, uh, highway of uh, New Zealand. It goes from the top of the country to the bottom of the country. And it goes, of course, right through Taupo uh, here in the centre of the North Island of New Zealand. Here we are, uh, keen to watch it, keen to watch it, uh, four. So 22 out in front, he's stepped it out, he's gone for it. And now 22, five battle. Remembering, of course, that five can get past, if five gets past, well, don't worry about the eight points, he's going to increase his points lead. So Hayden Smith and some work to do here. So Hayden Smith, oh, there's Curtis looking back, Curtis looking back. So there we are, four by five, HLA Husqvarna. There he goes, uh, Curtis and five and behind him. I think for Hayden at the moment, he's not quite sure what to do. Is he going to make a move or is he going to try and push past? Does he want to put it in jeopardy anyway? He is, he's got to be happy there because he's only going to lose two points. Yeah, I'm sure you're going to be happy to go past, but who knows what drama you get if you attempt to do the overtaking. So maybe he says, hey, I don't want to worry. Hopefully there's a pit board telling him the entire story, and that story is that he's not number one in the race. He is number three, and he's only losing two points and not three that he potentially could have. So if he was to finish second all day to uh, Curtis, he would lose by uh, one point with Maximus out in front. If he finishes second all day to uh, 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 Hayden, sorry, we're yes, with uh, uh, Hayden. Um, he is um, Hayden behind him. That's right. He's still not going to make a change of that uh, overall uh, championship. So there you go. The buffer is the key factor. Eight points we've started our day out. If it finishes right now in this race at the moment, eight's gone down by two to six points. So very close to all three of our championship. 
if you thought that 11 points was close in MX2 and uh, 8 points was close in 125s, uh, wait till you come to the MX1 class coming up shortly, and that is a one-pointer, one-pointer right at this moment to define the, the margin between first and second place between our Australian visitor and Australian national champion, Dean Ferris on the Althurn Window Systems, JCR Yamaha, and our own number one red plate holder, Cody Cooper on the Honda Racing uh, C CRF uh, 450. <laughs> Some great one two five battles uh, out here as well. There's more than just we're uh, watching at this stage, but uh, also right throughout the field. Some of those include the likes of the Dan Bell, who did exceptionally well at the uh, Manawa two round. So keen to look out. Here's Maximus, he's just uh, overtaken the 153 at the moment of uh, Sam Hutted out of Stratford on the Union Yamaha. Supported at YZ125. Here we go with Maximus. Is it going to be a white flag this time? How are we close? 18 plus 1. It's got to be surely. Yeah, there it is. In fact, we're at 1940. 19 uh, minutes and 40 seconds. So uh, it must be a white flag. And it is. Obviously, it must have been pretty close last time, but close is not good enough. Got to wait for the uh, 80 minutes to come up and then when the race leader goes past you put the white flag out so 18 plus the one for our one two five class so we are on our final lap this time 18 plus the one to cover and uh, man to oh man we've got some race duration to uh, rocket through here is our 279 opportunity to reflect on our mxt.co.nz uh, uh, results uh, update by the way uh, See the after that uh, fall of his and into the fence lines way back in 18th place scoring a lousy three points back there but hey, it's been a none at all. Welcome back to uh, Chase Smith on 154. Chase back for a ride today. Xavier Dalziel as well in there. So Maximus, Curtis, Hayden, then go to Sam Greenslade, like James Scott, we talked about then. Hayden Wilkinson here to Joshua Burke Palmer. Jordan Milsom from uh, Dan Bell and uh, uh, Riley uh, Campbell up there. So... Uh, Riley to think that, of course, he's been in the uh, top five in some of the other motos, but uh, not quite as well placed uh, here today at this stage. So on our uh, final lap, and keen to watch out with our uh, uh, 44 by 4 by 5 uh, battle out there. 913, 108. 81 as well. Good to see if the Aero Helmets at home with Derby Accessories. Proud to be supporting our uh, Taupo Motor Soul Club uh, Penny Holmes final round here. And now uh, 44 to uh, watch in this race. Down to our uh, traffic and how tight are they at the moment. Here we are with 44 and he goes down through the sawdust for the final time. Where's our uh, next uh, battle to loom? There's 4x5, still 4x5 in there. 4 to go past with uh, Curtis 5 in behind him. And it's up. Uh, uh, what are we going to see? And it's effectively from that point. There are only four corners to go. Four corners to go. So 44, not to worry about 44. He's got it... Uh, uh, done and dusted out in front. Uh, uh, commentators uh, curse not intended. So there you go with four by uh, five. Here's the run down. This is a fight for second place and really where the championship's all about it. This has been the only round for Maximus and he's going to take with a checkered flag victory. And there we go with a win and uh, Maximus to take the win. And here we are, four by five. So Curtis has got the points back. He's got some points back. He's got two of them back. And there you are, Curtis Lilly second, and uh, Hayden Smith is third on the number five. So two of the eight points are whittled down to only a six-point buffer between first bike number five and second bike number four. Super tight, super close, super exciting with two motos still to go. Here now, a third and final round of the uh, New Zealand Motocross uh, Championships of 2017. What an event, what a summer. What some racing we have had. New Zealand Motocross Grand Prix, uh, New Zealand uh, Motocross Round. So our uh, uh, fifth major moto over the last, uh, what have we equated to now? This has been the uh, 12th uh, week of the month. So effectively with uh, those five, we've had a, a great event. Generally every uh, two and a half weeks uh, here in New Zealand. A superb summer. We love it this time of year. Mixing up the best of Right, uh, keen to make sure we uh, 